quick on, on the, uh, the coaches, right? So there were a couple names being thrown out there from yesterday with the coaching hires, JLs. Did any of them kind of pique your interest so far? Uh, I know for, I said last year, my my three last year was Van Gundy was my was first choice. My second choice was Bud, and my third choice was Fizz. Mm -hmm. So now that Fizz is out, <laughs> and Bud has a job, mm -hmm. my first choice is still Van Gundy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, second choice is since Bud is not here, <laughs> <laughs> it might be uh, the Bud substitute on the on the pop, which is Becky. But um, yeah. I might well, actually I might go Mike. I might I, I want to give Mike a chance because you know he's been here. Mm -hmm. I like what he's in the G League. Um, so I, I do consider Becky no no to Jason Kidd. No. Uh, no no to Mark Jackson. Um, the guy from the Kings intrigues me. The coach from the Kings, I forget his name. Jaeger, Dave Jaeger. Jaeger, Jaeger, Jaeger uh, intrigues me. Yep, Jaeger and, bombs. And yeah, and I'm I'm still I'm still looking. I'm still researching. I'm okay, still researching. all right, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I would say for me, I'm definitely intrigued by Miller. I want to give Miller a chance. He's got a 60 game tryout for me. I want to mm -hmm. see what he does. How does he uh, help improve these guys? And and what does the next president? Because like I told you. Dolan's going to nuke this whole thing. And I, and I told you that in the podcast. He's going to get rid of Mills. I'm, I'm almost positive on that. I want to see what that next president, who he's going to bring in, what he thinks of Mike Miller. So let's see. Right. Definitely want to give him a chance. I want to give Jeff Van Gundy a chance. You know, that's my guy. Yeah. Definitely want to give Jeff a chance. Mark Jackson, you guys know I'm I'm leery. Nah, I'm, I, don't, I'm leery. I don't know if I want to go that route. I just, I just don't like the fact that the league – never came back to him after that Golden State stint. There has to be more to it than just the religious thing or whatever the case may be. I think there was there has to be more to it. Yeah, I agree with you. So I wouldn't want to bring him in with with, with this type of environment. Jason Kidd is a snake. I would no, I'm not, I'm not going near Jason Kidd. Yeah, um, I would I would I wouldn't leave Jason alone with twenty dollars. Nah, nah I'm not, he's a snake. <laughs> Good basketball player. Nick's tape, hey, appreciate it. That's but right. um Free. yeah yeah, fell asleep with the wheel when the playoffs came. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I, no, nah, I don't trust Jason Kidd. Becky Hammond, I can't see Popovich letting her walk out the door. I think she's going to be the heir apparent in San Antonio with Tim Duncan on the staff. I think that's going to be the tandem. I can't see her. Pop, Popovich, is, they, he kills the Knicks every chance he gets. There's no chance they're going to let her walk out that door, bro. I think they would if she's like, yo, I want to go. Pop is not the one to hold. Especially, you know, I mean, listen, like, you, you can only hold somebody for so long. You know what I mean? But it's like, based on how everybody trashes this organization, I can, I, I don't think it would be the right situation for her. Yeah, I heard you. Yeah. I just don't I, I just don't think this would be the right situation. For I, her. I just think it would work. Anybody who's going to... I'm down for anybody who can make... People look good who aren't, you know, doesn't have the most talent. I'm down for anybody who can make the most at yeah. least. And yeah. Pop, that has that pedigree, so you, you would hope that he passed it down to someone like Of Becky. course. And it has nothing to do with being a woman. Yeah. I, I think I saw somebody throw that out there, like, oh, just say you don't want a woman. I, that has nothing to do with it, in my opinion. But this is a different animal. This is not the Phoenix Suns, J. Ellis. You understand? This mm -hmm. is not for the faint of heart. Fisdale could have done this in Phoenix. He could have done this somewhere else and still been the coach. Right. This is the heaviest jersey. This is the brightest lights. The pressure. You need somebody that's been through it. Or understands it. Or, you, know, you know what I mean? It's just a different situation, bro. Yeah. I feel you. I feel you. Um, I, I just can't pass up a pop person. That's why I would probably have Mike a little over and somebody more. Yeah. I, I like I like experience more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like it, even though like the the knowledge being passed on intrigues me because of that, it's like I still want experience. I, I still want, want experience. experience who, who who has experience running a team. Yeah, simple and plain. Yeah. Simple and plain. It has nothing to do with being a woman. So a lot of these people are, you know, you, you got to get over that. But um Jaeger's intriguing for the simple fact that he was fired from the Kings after he got them off to their best start in exactly. over 14 years. So that's that's a real, I give him a real look. 39 it. wins, and, and he's known for his X's and O's. 
He he got the Aaron Fox out there to his best season. Buddy healed out there to his best season. Yeah. But you know what the funny thing is about Jaeger when you do your research on him, he they it was said that he was fired from both Memphis and Sacramento for clashing with management over playing the kids. Huh. Over playing the kids. He got they said there was a clash between him and Vlade over Marvin Bagley's minutes. And in and Memphis, they said he had some, you know, fascination with playing Ryan, Ryan Hollins, who's been trash, who was trash, um, um, over some of the younger guys. They said Jaeger Jaeger went with a lot of vets over development. So <laughs> you know, not not to say that's that's somebody's character, not to not to put the scarlet letter on him, but you know, it's just interesting that that he that's was labeled good. with that type of reputation so and, that, and to, to yeah. come here. Yeah, he would get killed over here for that. That's for sure. That's it. That's for sure. But there's some there's some rookies who transcend that, and you're gonna play regardless. Someone like De'Aaron Fox, like he's just right. too good. Yeah, yeah, he's just gonna play. He's just gonna play. But then there's those middle of the road kids, and you have to give him minutes, and he's like, ah, uh, no. Yeah. You're gonna, yeah. Uh, yeah, he might get killed. Here Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I think Stackhouse could certainly be a sleeper. Stackhouse, we, we did interview Stackhouse the last time. He's down at Vanderbilt. Don't sleep on Stackhouse. I, yeah, slap, yeah, Stackhouse did pretty well. He was good with, I believe, Toronto. Rap, Raptors. Raptors system. Last year in the G League. Raptors system. Nick another, Nurse, Stackhouse. Yeah, another team who runs a good system and can make the most out of the least. So, yeah, I would consider him. No to Kenny Smith. No, nah, I, I, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind the Jet. I think the Jet is he can handle it. That's somebody he knows what it takes. I yeah, he's new, but I think the Jet can handle it. Nah, I, mean, I, it, I think I the Jet go, can handle it. I would go Becky before the Jet because Becky at least is an assistant. You know what I'm saying? Like I hear you. Can, I hear you. Kenny, uh, he's good at running to tape, running towards tape, you know <laughs> running, saying? running to the board. Yeah. <laughs> but you got, you got to manage personalities. You know what I, mean? I think Kenny could do it. Hey, he manages Charles and 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 Shaq on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I think Kenny could do it. You you put Kenny out there, you get an associate coach, right? Then they used to do that. Lakers used to do that with Del Harris, uh-huh. right? Then we do that with Rambis, the associate coach. When we have Fisher out there, Kenny could do it. <clears throat> nah, man. You, you, if you're gonna put Kenny over there, you might have to do. Kenny got to do a stint as an assistant. Man, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. Not, I'm not. I'm not putting him in the head of the Knicks. Like this. That's how we. That's what we did with freaking uh, Fisher. <laughs> Fisher. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I oh, hate. He's a good point guard. I hate. I, I hate, man. Nah, uh, it's more than that. Remember, we saw Kenny at the open practice. What was Kenny doing at open practice, Jalis? He was trying to get it. He's trying to be coached. Well, what was Kenny doing at the open practice, man? That's I a peeped great him. I peeped. Question. Steve. I peeped. I peeped. <laughs> Kenny was there, man, for the whole thing. Maybe he's studying. Maybe he's studying. Sam Cassell, I would definitely uh, uh, entertain Sam Cassell. He's 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 been an assistant for a while. I definitely I'll entertain him. Yeah, factuals, 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 man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. But yeah, salute to everybody in the chat. Fourteen eighty five. We are climbing jails. Let us know in the chat. What do you think, man? Whether you're a Knicks fan or not, who should the Knicks bring in as head coach? Let us know. Throw your opinions in the chat. Uh, hit that thumbs up button for you boys.